In this video, we're going to directly connect the Samba 40522X camera to the RS485 port of the DVR. This is an effective way to check if your twisted pair extension cord is having any issue. So here is a brand new camera. It's getting powered and the BNC cable is not connected because BNC is used to transmit video and this is not what we're going to test right now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to connect this blue brown pair directly to the RS485 slot of our Dahua DBR. Dahua is the OEM manufacturer of many brands such as Lorix, QC, as later you can see the PDZ control panel is exactly the same. We're going to lift the MBR from button to top so that you can see the back panel. Now you see the green RS485 port. We insert the two pairs into the RS485 port. The blue side goes to A and the brown side goes to B. That's a polarity for most DVR, but if it doesn't work for your DVR, you can always reverse that. Now remember that they could not stay fixed into the ports, so you probably need to hold them by your hands. The purpose is to have them completely attached to each other. Then let's go to the PDZ panel of the Dahua DVR. It's black screen because we didn't connect the BNC cable, but as we click the PDZ arrows, the camera moves, providing that the PDZ functionality of the camera is working and the camera is compatible with this DVR. Now for this task, you must make sure the address bit is consistent with the DVR and you've checked other issues. So in this case, we know the PTZ function of the camera works with the DVR without any extension and it left for you to check the extension cable in terms of the pair connectivity, polarity, and to check if it is firmly attached.